Well, Gracie, what do we talk about? Well, um, last week we talked about my Aunt Clara and her nine husbands, but we only got up as far as the first five. So this week let's talk about six, seven, eight, and nine. Very good for 60 <laughs> seconds apiece. That should take care of four minutes. All right. Gracie, where does Aunt Clara find these men? Well, um, she found Uncle Ernest by putting an ad in a matrimonial paper. Ernest? Uh, well, yes. And the ad said that uh, she wanted a man who was young, tall, handsome, and brave. And did she get many answers? Oh, dozens of them. So she picked Uncle Ernest, and he was 60 years old, and four feet nine, a bald head, and a little bit knock kneed Why did she pick him? Well, um, she figured if he was brave enough to answer that ad, it made up for the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, well, did, uh, how did the marriage get along? Oh, fine in the daytime, but at night he walked in his sleep. Oh, he was a sleepwalker. Uh, yes, and, um, uh... Well, he used to walk on his tiptoes so he wouldn't wake himself up. Oh, he had that bad. Yes, but Aunt Clara finally figured out a cure. She took the string out of his pajamas. And that cured him from sleepwalking? Oh, sure. Every night when he got out of bed to start to walk, his pajamas fell down and he'd trip over them and wake up. Wake up. Well, I guess that's the problem. Well, not quite. You see, one night he went to sleep in his underwear and he walked right out of her life forever. Well, that takes care of husband number six. Oh, then she met Norman and they fell madly in love. It would have been a wonderful romance if it lasted. What spoiled their romance? Their marriage. Yeah, well, that'll do it all the time. Yeah. They were very happy for a while. But then every time they went out for a ride, Uncle Norman pushed her out of the car. And she began to feel his love was growing cold. Well, if he kept pushing her out, why didn't she sell the car? Well, she did. And then she knew she had to leave him. Why? Well, he took the money and bought an airplane. <laughs> yeah, well, Gracie, uh, with after seven husbands, didn't Aunt Clara get discouraged about marriage? Oh, no. By then, she felt that she was beginning to get the hang of things. <laughs> well, who, who was number eight? Um, a doctor, Uncle Leo, or oh, fine man, and very successful. Oh, finally picked a good one, huh? Yes, and they were very happy for several days. <laughs> then what happened? Well, um, then he began coming home every night and telling her everything his patients had told him that day, and it made her very nervous, and so she left him. Of course, his patients talked to him? He was a tree surgeon. <laughs> Who came after Uncle Leo? A couple of men in white coats. I mean, who was Aunt Clara's next husband? Oh, well, her ninth husband, yes. Uncle Harvey. And oh, they're still married. Oh, yes. He's, he's a swimming instructor, isn't yes, he? Yes. They're very happy, except for one thing. What's that? You see, Aunt Clara has a powerful hug, and he's afraid she'll crush him to death. Well, if her hug is that bad, why did he marry her? Well, George, he's very nice to have around the house so she can wring out his wet bathing suits. <laughs> Takes care of the four minutes. Say good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night.